The Solar PV Plus storage sizing tool helps the user explore the preliminary optimal sizing and estimated costs of hybrid solar plus battery energy storage systems to meet the generation requirements of different applications. There are two applications the user can choose from. Solar energy output smoothing refers to when the battery is used to flatten out fluctuations in solar power output, thus facilitating its integration into the grid. This means that the Hybrid Solar Plus storage system can provide steady power output over a desired time window, 2 hours, 4 hours, etc. Solar energy output shifting refers to the use of batteries to meet energy demand periods that cannot be met by solar generation alone. The Battery Energy Storage System, or BESS, is charged during solar generation hours and discharged to meet the profile defined by the user. It involves dimensioning solar PV and battery systems. First, I select the application on the front page, or on the tab at the side. I will demonstrate the shifting application. First, I enter a location, then set the parameter values. To enter the battery parameters, I click on the plus sign to adjust the details. In simulation parameters, you can enter the demand profile that needs to be met by the hybrid system. I drag and drop the red line to set the profile. There is a help function with a description for each of the sections. A more detailed description is available in the Inputs and Outputs section of the Help tab. As you adjust each of these parameters, you will see the resulting graphs and figures on the right changing. But once you have all the parameters set, you should see this result. First and most importantly is the sizing of the solar and battery components necessary to meet the demand profile defined. The unserved energy indicates the percentage of energy not supplied by the hybrid system due to the constraints entered or because it is uneconomic. The first timeline shows the dispatching results over a year, with the varying levels of solar power available either through 12 representative days from the Global Solar Atlas or more detailed data if inserted by the user. It shows the BESS providing additional power once the load can no longer be served by solar power alone. The battery charge, discharge, and stored energy are depicted in the second graph. The third graph depicts the unserved energy from the first graph in more detail. Below the graphs are displayed figures for the various costs of the different components, unserved energy, as well as an estimate of a levelized cost of electricity, or LCOE, for the solution in USD megawatts per hour. This is a high-level presentation of the varying levels of solar power for a representative day in each of the 12 months of the year. Hybrid projects will still need a fully-fledged pre-feasibility or feasibility studies for a more granular sizing. A detailed description and derivation of these cost figures is available in the Inputs and Outputs section of HELP. I can download these results to either a CSV, PDF, or JSON file, the contents of which are described in the Export Formats option in the HELP tab here.